hi guys yeah, welcome back again to my youtube channel if today is your first time here thank you so very much for stopping by and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit on the notification bell so that you'll be able to see our new video whenever i post so in this video i'll be showing you how i sew this beautiful dress so i'm done cutting the lining and the next thing to do is to sew the neckline and the shoulder part so after sewing it this is what it looks like and the same thing applied to the back side so the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring out my slit cover remember i measured it on four two inches then I also went ahead to stitch it and I left one side open. So I'll go ahead and turn it up and then place it on top and sew right from here. And at the down part, I'm going to fold it a bit so that the edges will not show. Then I'll sew it. Then after sewing it, I'll just go ahead now. And measure where I'll be putting my design as you can see I measured like five five inches round the slit so this is me just creating the lines the guidelines on where I'll be putting my design So I'll just go to my sewing machine now and stitch it. So after sewing it, go ahead and join the back and the front piece together. The right side facing the right side and then join the shoulders together. Show you what it looks like. So I'm done joining the shoulders together. I ironed it open so that it will be easier for me to join the band measure the sleeve band and then use the measurement that you got to cut the cut the band so i added extra two inches to while cutting then after that i'm going to cut it out and then use my pressing iron to Join it together with the stiff. Putting stiff on it so that it will give me this standing shape to stand. So this is the stiff that I'll be using. I call it stiff or peplum stand. So anyone. So I'm trying to position it well so that I can be able to gum it together with my pressing iron. The gum side facing the wrong side of the fabric. Then press it with your hot iron. After joining the stiff and the turn up sleeve together, turn up band together, go ahead and fold it, then turn it up and top stitch, or you sew straight and then turn it up and fold it inside, then top stitch it. 
just as you see me doing like this so after sewing i'll come back and show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like you can see it's very fine and smooth the next thing to do now is to join the bodies of the cloth together i'll just go ahead and use one inch and join the whole of it together then hem the down part and then attach the fringes on it and i'm done with my work so after that after that our clothes is ready to be slayed this is the outcome and it's very gorgeous very fine neat and clean you can actually give your own your own design any part of any type of design that you want to put on your own you can actually use bias or anything so this is the hand you can see it's very strong and standing it's standing so i'm trying to get the back view but but it's late everywhere is dark everywhere is dark so thank you so very much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also like give us a thumbs up share it and if you have any question kindly use the comment section i'll be there to answer all your questions if you have any thoughts on this you can actually drop it so thank you so very much for watching see you next time on my next video bye